Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2023 or Pokemon Horizons the series anime episode review. This time I am talking about episode 37, so let's get to it. In this episode, the rising boat tacklers who are still in need of money get another job from a friend of Freed. This time they need to move a rock that is preventing an excavation team from investigating some ruins. While most of the team is hesitant to accept this job since it is very simple, once they learn that they will be paid very well, they accept. So they made their way to where the excavation team and ruins are, a desert. However, they are not needed yet. While they wait, Roy and Foycoco train for battling Rayquaza with a cardboard cutout of it. Roy tries to get Foycoco to learn a new move, but he can't. Roy looks like he is angry, which worries Liko, but it turns out that this phase is due to the intense sunlight. Murdock overhears this and he gives Roy a pair of sunglasses to counter the sun. He gives some to Liko as well, but she is fine without them. So she gives them to Fuecoco instead, who was clearly interested in them. He and Roy happily strike cool poses. Meanwhile, Freed and the rest of the team wonder why they have yet to hear from the excavation team. They soon hear a commotion from the dig site. So Freed goes to investigate. He meets up with his friend, a professor leading the team. He reveals that a crocodile and several crocorock, who are seen keeping an eye on the team from beneath the sand, have been attacking them, which has delayed the excavation. However, they will be fine, since they plan to exterminate Crocodile and company, which is quite drastic, using several Pokemon, including questionably a Luxray. I don't think you want an electric type to deal with ground types. Freed heads back to the airship where he relays the news to the rest of the team. Since extermination is too much and he wants to know what's triggering Crocodile and company, he decides to investigate the ruins with Cap. Liko and Roy want to go with him. While he initially refuses since it will be dangerous, since they insist, he decides to let them tag along, provided they are careful. So they head into the ruins and they begin searching for clues. Fuecoco soon finds a sand dial who proceeds to troll and bite him. Since sand dial is the pre-evolution of Crocodile and Crocorock, Roy and Fuecoco follow it but they end up being swallowed by the sand. This allows them to reach the lower floors of the ruins, where they find the Crocodile and the Crocorock, who are revealed to be mother and father respectively, and a bunch of baby Sandile, Crocodile and Crocorock's children. Turns out that this is their nest, which explains why they have been attacking the excavation team. The sand dial soon begin to cry. To pacify them, Crocodile and Crocorock use their tails to play a tune. Due to the similarities between this melody and Fuecoco singing, he and Roy join the musical number, which makes a trio of Crocorock, who I assume are the middle children of the family, assume defensive positions. However, the sand dial calm down and they smile, which lets Crocodile know that Roy and Fuecoco mean no harm. Meanwhile, Liko and Freed continue their investigation. They soon find footprints left behind by Crocodile and family. Believing that the culprits are nearby, Freed says that Liko and Roy should stay close. However, they soon realize that Roy is gone, much to their surprise. So they double back around to find him. 
Cap somehow realizes where to find Roy. He triggers the quicksand, which allows them to also get to the lower floors, where they find Roy, Fue Coco, Crocodile, and family putting on a full-on musical straight out of a Disney production, which culminates in Crocodile and the family using Round. Once he spots Liko and Freed, Roy informs them that Crocodile and the family are not evil. Unfortunately, the ruins begin to shake, since the excavation team has resumed their work. This triggers Crocodile and the Crocorock to go on the offensive. Roy and company rush to the surface to prevent the impending fight. Crocodile and the Crocorock lie in wait under the sand, ready to pounce. However, they are spotted by Luxray thanks to its X-ray vision, proving why it's here despite its typing. With the enemy sighted, Diggers by and Mincino attack, using Hammer Arm and Dazzling Gleam respectively, which are super effective on Dark type Pokemon. The three young Crocorock are quickly defeated. This angers Crocodile and Dad Crocorock, who make quick work of Diggers by and Mincino. They then go on a rampage wrecking everything in sight. Fuecoco, with his sunglasses, tries to calm Crocodile and Crocorock down. But despite singing to the best of his ability and counting with the support of the Sandile, Fuecoco fails to pacify the angry Crocs. Eventually, his voice gives in, so the situation looks dire. I knew that something big had to happen in order for Fuecoco to resolve the crisis. My first thought was evolution, but then I thought nah, it's still too early for this and the stakes are not high enough. Turns out that this is true. What Fuecoco ends up doing is learning Disarming Boys, which manages to make Crocodile and Crocorock snap out of their blind rage. I initially thought that Fuecoco learned the round, since the animation for it is similar and it is the move Crocodile and family used earlier. However, I then realized that Roy wanted Fuecoco to learn a move to fight Rayquaza. Disarming boys is a fairy type move, so it's super effective on Rayquaza making it a stronger weapon against it than round, and thus the more fitting choice for Fuegoko. So, with the crisis resolved, Freed explains the situation to his friend, who decides to halt the excavation for now, though they still have the rock in the way. Roy has the idea to have Crocodile and the family break the rock, which they do using Round in unison. I love that this makes sense, because Round gets stronger the more Pokemon that use it. While the Rock is no longer a problem, since it wasn't the Rising Bolt Tacklers who cleared it, they ain't getting paid, much to the dismay of Freed and Orla Molly and Murdock who came to check things out, wondering what was taking so long. Since they are no longer needed, the Rising Bolt Tacklers depart. Liko believes that even though they were sadly not paid, Roy and Fuecoco got something more valuable instead. The episode ends with Fuecoco using his new move to bid farewell to his new friends, who say goodbye back using round. So that's the short but detailed summary of the episode. Now it's time to highlight, analyze, and comment on my favorite moments and or moments that are noteworthy slash interesting. I hate having to repeat myself, but this episode is yet another whatever episode that while fun and enjoyable does not advance the story one 
nor is it exciting or thrilling. At least this one had Fue Coco learning a new move, meaning that there was at least some character progression. Disarming Boys is a fitting move for him, not only because of what I mentioned earlier, but also because Fue Coco loves to sing, and his final evolution is all about singing. Additionally, I love that for this episode they chose the Crocodile family, who are based on crocodiles like Fue Coco, and they went a step further by giving Fue Coco sunglasses to match. Finally, this episode reminded me of Ash's Crocodile, which is nice. But those are my thoughts on and analysis of the episode. Now it's time to bring this review to a close by going over my overall opinion of the episode. So, overall, this episode was alright just like the previous two. Nothing wrong with them other than the fact that they are not terribly exciting or interesting, nor do they add to the story or mystery of the series though this one at least provided some progression for Roy and Fue Coco, making it ever so slightly more valuable than its two predecessors. Like I said in the previous review though, it's about time they step things up. Sadly however, this definitely won't happen in the next episode and it likely won't happen in the one after that either, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, we get a really good episode soon. But that's the review and the video. Click on the links on screen now to see my reviews of the previous three episodes. I will see you over there. Thank you so very much for watching.